Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be making little moons. Obviously they're not actually little moons, they're ice cream mochi, but I think I'm going to call this making little moons just because everyone knows what little moons are. So yeah, I'm going to be attempting to make these. I've seen a few people make them, some people are successful, some not. I think I've got all the right ingredients and I'm just going to like hope that it works. I know what I've got to do, I've watched a few videos, I've read the recipe, so it's just a case of just fingers crossing and just hoping that it works. Before we get into this video, please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any further videos from me and let's just get going. The only thing I've not got out yet is the ice cream just because I want to get it out when I'm about to use it, which is in a minute, but I just wanted to wait. I think I'm going to make vanilla. Like, I think the mochi, I'm not going to flavour, I'm just going to put a little bit of pink food colouring in. For the actual ice cream, I think I'm going to do some chocolate and some vanilla. You can even put ice cream into little mini cases or you can wrap them in cling film. I've got some cling film down here. I've got some greaseproof paper. I'm going to be doing this in grams because I don't have cups. So you need 57 grams of granulated sugar, 225 ml water, a few drops of red food coloring. coloring. This is the food coloring that's like the gel. So I will use like a little cocktail stick um, to get some of that out it's not drops it's, it's a lot stronger um then you need some potato starch or cornstarch i've seen potato starch seems to be the main one and then that cornstarch is the substitute on mine it actually says cornstarch and then in brackets potato starch but and then you need some glutinous rice flour now make sure it's glutinous rice flour if you're going to buy this i had in my basket regular rice flour after some googling i found out that there's actually different glutinous rice flour is apparently it's more like chewy and sticky i think and then regular rice flour is more like regular flour i think as far as i can tell because i watched anastasia do it and she just bought regular rice flour and um it turned really crumbly and stuff but so you need to buy this if you're going to get it mine still might not work but i'm just saying you need glutinous rice flour you can put these onto a tray which are the tiny little what are they called well these are spotty cupcake cases but they, you know like the the tiny tiny ones you can scoop your ice cream into these and then put these in the freezer i'm gonna do 12 six chocolate if i can and six vanilla i also have some low calorie salted caramel brownie which i might also try and use some of the heart door i don't know how you pronounce it i think i should do these ones first because they're gonna be the softest i'll try and do i reckon three salted caramel brownie three chocolate cookie dough, and then six vanilla. Handy. We've also got this thing. Do I try this as well? No, other scoopy doop might be better. Mm, let's try both. Thing is, you just can't really make it into a ball, can you? Let's see if this is gonna be better. The thing is, you can't get the other side round, can you? But Oh, I think this, this scoopy ball thing is better, whatever this seems to be. Oh, look at this. This is like a perfect, ooh. Okay, if you have one of these, whatever this is, it's got a little hole at the bottom. I don't have a scooby what it is. If you've got one of these, <laughs> it makes the perfect little balls. Like, look at that. Like, I feel like an ice cream person. Like, it like properly like scoops really well. Now on to, oh, look at that. This is also really soft. Like, do you see? It's just, ah. Uh, why is the low, if anyone knows, but why is the low calorie Ben and Jerry's super like, um, like soft? Do you know what you'd actually probably be better using rather than like an ice cream? I know this isn't an ice cream scoop, but you'd probably be better using like two teaspoons. Okay, we're gonna just leave it there. Right, let's get these back in the freezer. That's something else I need. Um, like spatula, but like a rubber spatula. Oh, I see one, I see one. I think I need to use a whisk. In a large microwave safe bowl, I think this is big enough. I need the scale. Combine the sweet rice flour, sugar, and water. So I need 160 of the rice flour. Now, when Jazz bought this stuff, she, she has had a separate bag in it. I'm really hoping mine doesn't, because hers looked really messy. Ah, uh, no, it doesn't look okay, good. Oh, wait, it kind of does. 57, 158, 159, 160. And then 57, so back to zero, of granulated sugar. And then I am just going to give it a little 
like mix those together quickly. And then we're going to add our 225 um, millilitres of water. And then I'm just going to, can you see this? I'm just going to mix it. It almost looks like that stuff, you know, the um, in science. Oh, here we go, it's like thinning out a bit now that it's mixing it. Okay, so I mix it, put this in the microwave for one minute, and then I have to whisk it again to get rid of any bumps, and then another minute, and then that's when I use a wet spatula after that time. So I think when I do the whisk in the second time to get rid of any bumps is when I'm going to put the food colouring in, because I don't want it to get too thick without the colouring in. So I have to put some cling film. Okay. It was. Okay, for one minute. So now we whisk again to get rid of any lumps. It says, dip the one, with the next one, I have to put the rubber spatula in the rice mixture. Oh no, and then I put it in the microwave again, and then it'll be a sticky dough. And then if I'm having any food colour at that point, so do I do it before it goes in with the spatula? I think I should do it now. I'm gonna do it now, just a tiny little bit. Because this is like not liquid, this is a gel, so I think it's going to be really hard to mix in if I don't do it now. You don't normally need a lot of this. And normally we just put it on like the end of a, whatever we're using to mix. Because it's so strong, so you need like, yeah, I do not need any more than this. I don't know if you can see that it's already, that's already made it pink. That was like the tiniest little dip in. Recover. And then another minute. And what I am going to do is I'm going to get the grease proof paper out now because the next one is only for 30 seconds. I've got this, I've got a jug of water here. Put the spatula in it. Dip up the spatula in water and stir the rice mixture again. Do not use a whisk this time, it's way too sticky. Oh wow. I don't know how to... This is, it looks like a melted mousse. Or like, I guess ice cream. I don't know if you'll be able to like see that properly. Do you see? It's like... So weird. I mean, I don't really know what it means by stir, but I'm kind of folding. <laughs> Cover the rice mixture one more time and microwave for a further 30 seconds. Place a large paper parcel paper on your counter and cover the paper with dusting of cornstarch or potato starch. You with a wet spatula, scrape the dough onto the cornstarch and dust the top of a dust top of the dough with more cornstarch. Roll the dough into a rectangle. It's a really pretty pink, I have to say. Hope you can see. It's very hot. Potato starch really does not stick. I don't want it to stick to the. If it starts sticking, I'm gonna. Yeah, it is there. Oh no, that was a mistake. To use my hand there, wasn't it? I already know I'm getting potato starch everywhere, like I've just accepted that fact. Right, that's it, I'm not going left thinner, I'm too scared. If I try and do that, that's the best I've got. What about the other one around? I basically want it to hold the bits that are going to fall. There we go, like this. And can I get that in the fridge and let the door shut? Now that has to stay in the fridge for 30 minutes and then I will be back to do everything. I need to wash my hands before I turn the camera off. Okay, so that's obviously in the fridge for 30 minutes. And then after that, um, you have to, so what you're meant to do is you will cut it, pick up one of the circles you cut, you brush off both like the cornstarch. Then you have to work quickly and take one scoop of ice cream, place it in the centre. But what I'm actually gonna do, which I've seen basically everyone do, is when they cut out a circle, they put it onto a bit of cling film, and they they like pile all of the circles up, and then they get the ice cream out and they st and like they put the cling film with the circle on the side, put the ice cream ball on there, and then roll it up, and then they've already got the cling film there to wrap it. And then it just goes straight in the freezer. 11, 12. Well done. So it's been half an hour. Um, so, and to be fair, I think half an hour is absolutely fine anyway, because I've seen others do it for 15 minutes. So we're gonna scroll down. So the way they seem to do it, I need to get, I will get it out in a second. 
is I've just got this little pot and people seem to put a bit, I don't know if I've got big enough bits of cling film, they seem to like place it over like that and then put a circle on it, like put the big thing. So we're gonna get it out now. I do really in my heart feel like it's too thick, but I'm gonna make a mess again. So first I'm gonna go through and get all my mochi cut out. So I've got this little thing here and I've got my cling film over here. The more I'm looking at it now it's out, I wish I rolled it more. But we're gonna have to go for it now because I made it. So I'm gonna go over here. I don't think I'm gonna get 12 out of this, but apparently you can like re-roll it. Oh, it seems like a good texture. I just think it's like I said, a little bit. That's the thickness I've done it. That's a bit thick. But it's definitely the right texture, I can tell you that much. I'm just gonna make a mess and brush it off. But it definitely like is sticky, I can tell it's sticky. I think I might get like eight. Oh, this one's like stuck. Can I pick that up or not? Oh, it's ripped. I might still be able to pick it up though and fix it. Oh, this one might not happen. I mean, I can still use it, but for some, I think I'm going to struggle with the fact that there wasn't much potato starch on the um, underneath. They seem to stick. Next, I'm going to go right in here. I also feel like they don't need to be exact circles, do they? Because surely not. Because you're going to be... Oh, this is... Oh, no. There's not enough potato starch underneath. I might get like a knife under it. As long as it doesn't, I was about to say, as long as it doesn't rip it, this one's fully ripped. Damn it. By the edges seems to be fine. It's when you get in a bit more. Let's start over here. Let's try over here. Yeah, this one's worked. Now, my phone's in the middle of all of this. I'm gonna attempt to re-roll this. The thing is, I don't really see how this is gonna get back together. Like, maybe just if I just have it like this and then just start rolling it. But I wanna try. But I definitely need to put some more of this down because of the sticky bits that, I've, that have caused havoc. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, this does roll perfectly. When Jazz did this, she really, really struggled to, to get it back together and to re-roll it, but mine seems to be fine. I mean, the whole, like, is in, it doesn't really, it's a bit more resistant. Wow. Let's see how thick this is, because that looks really thin over there. <laughs> Oh wow, oh, oh, it's stuck, stuck, stuck. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, we saved it. This is really thin, this one. Oh wow, these are super thin, but some of Mochi, some Little Moons are really thin as well. This is like super thin. So there's all of my, whereas you, if you compare it to like, the size of these ones. Weirdly enough, after um, putting it in the freezer, it goes like this. Whereas the ones I've just rolled out aren't like that at all. So what I need to do is I need to put this top one of this onto here. Then I need to get an ice cream ball out and pull it off. Let's try this tiny little chocolate one. They do seem to have hardened a bit, which is nice. Okay. So we're literally just gonna plug that. Oh wow, they've actually gone quite hard. And then just wrap it up. Ah. Um, this one's quite thin. So it's kind of breaking. I know I shouldn't be putting it dead in my hands like this because the ice cream's just gonna melt, but I just can't really pinch the mochi to get the mochi to stick to itself. Okay, we're gonna do it like this. And then you just wanna wrap it in the cling film. I haven't got enough cling film either for this one. And then you just like twist it. This one hasn't really worked too well with the twistiness, but we're gonna put that in the freezer. If I look at the top, it's gonna be super thick, no? Wow, this cart, your ice cream is like, proper melty. I'm just gonna do it like that. I don't think that one's gonna work very well, but that vanilla ice cream is so melty. That The Ben and Jerry's didn't melt as much as this one did. Now we're gonna go for a salted caramel. So far the chocolate seems to be the best in terms of the um, not melting. The, that vanilla melted like, 
that's all it wants to do in life. They're gonna look super ugly because you have to like pinch them and stuff and they just don't really pinch. So they're not gonna look pretty, let's be real. <laughs> I'm gonna move myself so I want you to kind of be able to see me doing the vanilla one so it might actually be a bit more successful okay so we need to lift it all around this one's quite thick I don't even know what you do with all the excess at the top it's like you just push it together that's what I'm doing I'm kind of just like putting it together at the top and then with the because it's not really sticking to itself and then kind of just getting the cling film and using the cling film to do it okay so that's me making them they now go in the freezer for what was it um, a minimum of two hours and when you want to eat them you have to, you have to get them out of the freezer for a few minutes like little moons literally look like there is you can't even see the seam really hard to sort of seal them at the top and I think most of mine aren't sealed I'm hoping where I've twisted the cling film that that will like help it merge together okay so it's currently the next day I decided to leave them in like the whole night just because I just I just figured it made more sense um <laughs> I'm watching Pretty Little Liars as you might be able to see um, I've got them here they're still in the cling film I basically chose ones that were a bit messy because I realised that I just put them all in the freezer and obviously I, ha I want to try one chocolate, one sort of caramel and one vanilla but they're quite hard to tell which one's which. The vanilla ones are super easy because basically every single vanilla one, this is the only one where I can just about see what it is. All the others were like splurting with vanilla, it was crazy. So I'm going to quickly take them out of the cling film um, and I'm going to like leave them a few minutes because I know how they're meant to be. Oh, I've turned me... Me light on now i know the small look like the ones I, that are in the bottom drawer of my freezer are the ones that um are actually got thinner mochi around it but the reason i'm not having those is because i can't tell which ones are which in terms of chocolate sort of caramel and vanilla so yeah <laughs> this is how they look so for some of them as you can see like it was quite hard to seal them so i just like used the cling film to twist them and it actually seems to have sort of sealed it together. Like, yeah, there's some coming out, but it doesn't matter. It's only to, for me to eat. They're very solid. They feel more solid than, like, Little Moons do. Um, maybe it's because this is, like, a thicker mochi, so it might take a bit longer to, like, soften. Okay, so something I'm noticing is the bottom of this one has gone proper, like, soft, like, when they soften. So I'm going to, like, move them over on the side a little bit because it seems to be because they're warming up. Um, but, yeah, let me know if you've made these, how you, like, sealed them, like, quickly because I was trying to, like, mush it and it just wasn't happening. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. It looks, like, really wrinkly. Um, but the bit that's softened here isn't. Oh, it's so super soft. It really feels like them. I don't think it's softened enough because it wasn't chewy. Issue is, though... And the ice cream inside them is fully like melty melty whereas the actual mochi isn't the last ones i rolled out but the first ones that i actually made the little balls they might be um better i might i'm gonna go and try one after i've tried after i've had these it's not completely wrong but it is this one just doesn't seem like it so let's bite into it and see like they've been out for like 15 minutes now and okay, let's try the chocolate one Okay, the fact it's even that hard to bite into is kind of rank. Shall I go and get a small one, like the thin one? Let's see. I'm quickly swapping onto my phone while I try these because one, it's lighter and I've run out of SD cards and I do have another one, but I just want to do this. So <laughs> my camera's literally there and it's just run out. So I've grabbed one from that I think was from the first four. Um, it's a tiny little one. I am concerned that it's not one of the small ones, like the thin ones. And if it isn't, I'll just go and grab another one. Let me stand you up. I'm gonna cut the chocolate one. So I went to bite it. You can see like, I don't know if you can actually. Me trying to cut into this is just. Oh, it's so too thick, 100%. Like, look at that. That is where I've pinched it together. This bit looks fine. Let's try that bit. 
Mm, no, that's right. The opposite side is good though. Cut this one, I think, anyway, because while it's really, really frozen, because it'll be easier to cut when it's really frozen. Yeah, this is chocolate. Okay, now that looks really, really, really good. Oh, I've got a bit of cookie dough. Like, look at that. I'm used to my camera, so I don't know how this is gonna, how phone, I don't know how phones will to focus or even if they do. Now this must be one of the thinner ones. So I feel like I could try it now. It's kind of softened a lot, let's see. That's exactly how they're meant to be. Mmm. So note to everyone out there, if you're gonna make these, make sure they're really thin. Like I thought I rolled it out thin enough, but I knew it might be too thick. But somehow even when I like, pinch this together I did it like fine they're like proper stretchy I mean the ice cream's melting really quickly because this is um I think this is because it's the low calorie Ben and Jerry's but I'm sure if you had normal Ben and Jerry's it'd be really better and they're definitely not as good as like Bayern Little Moons obviously but I will definitely make them again and because I think you can do nice flavours with this rather than just like the, the classic flavours I think I may have just retried these and I wasn't recording oh hang on Turns out I wasn't, so I don't know why it turned off. It's it's not as easy as it seems. Like it's very easy to make them, but it's very hard to get it right. That's how they're supposed to be. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've made them or how you thought. I put my rest. I'll put the recipe I use in the description just so you can try them if you want to. I'll link where where I got the ingredients from, like the um, the glutinous rice flour and the potato starch in the description so if you did like this video then please be sure to subscribe like and comment let me know any ideas you have down below sorry i ended this on my phone um and it's really distracting like not it's really hard not to look at myself because i'm right there <laughs> but yeah let me know what you thought and um i will see you in my next video bye